some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves at the tax collector's office in Okaloosa County, Florida, where Ass Elmo is upset that he has to show an ID just to get in the building. So he decides to complain to the cops about it, but it gets him absolutely nowhere, and he finally makes a startling admission about why he's doing what he's doing. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. How's it going, brother? Doing good. I'm glad. I'm glad to see you guys. Did, you, did they tell you guys I'd be here today? No, they didn't tell us. I mean, we just got a call and say if somebody was like aggressively recording off the security people in. There, uh, so. Oh no, I wasn't. I was here yesterday, and uh, if you look at the oh man, I forgot I had, I had the incident report. But you see, I'm a YouTuber, and I'm working on videos, and they hate to be filmed, and not you guys, but the police that were here yesterday. I told them I'd be back the whole week because you see i didn't press charges on on the lady that was being disorderly yesterday after the investigation oh how very gracious of you to not press charges on somebody you consider to be disorderly that's very nice of you did your parents have any children that live sir yes sir how about they regret that but you know what I see whenever you say disorderly? It's generally people who don't bow down and lick your boots. That's generally what I see out of the situation. You want people to bow down, lick your boots, kiss your ass, and call you king. Because I show the officers everything. And um, I said, hey, you know, if she, if she, um, if she apologizes... I'm not, I don't want to do this because I'm not here to get anyone in trouble. Yeah, I said, I'm not here to get anyone in trouble. Uh, but she still said he, she didn't want to, <laughs> she didn't want to apologize. Okay, so I, I, I said, you know, I'd be here every day filming without, in, without interfering with their, you know, with their, with their process. I know, I know, I know the line, I, the lines that I can't cross. You know, they, uh, how you doing? Hi, hi, corporal, right? How are you today? Uh, and you know, I'm just here doing a video. Yes, it's about the First Amendment. So the First Amendment is not about the weather, it's about controversial speech. These guys were rude to me uh, yesterday, extremely rude to me to the point that they were, diso that they were disorderly. And it was my choice not to, not to uh, pursue that, you know? I arrived here today on a follow-up audit, peacefully. I'm, I'm legally and lawfully allowed in there. And as long as I'm not, of course, not interfering with the, with the business. And they don't understand that. You know, they don't, they, they don't get it. Oh, they get it. They know what you First Amendment frauditors are all about. You're not going to be there just to film. You're going to be there disrupting the business for clicks and views. That's all you're about. Professional journalism is not about disrupting the business. That's what you're all about, is disruption and clicks and views, not journalism. Five hours later... I totally understand you have the right, but what they're requesting is identification to enter. All right, but why do they? Why do I need to waive my Fourth Amendment in in order to enter? I told them that my business is video recording. So yes, they need ID from people to make sure that they live in this town when they're conducting business. But this is my business, and and I. They have no problem if you standing out front. But the thing is, ma'am, when you enter, when you it's like entering the police department and being searched and being uh, asked for your uh, for for your ID. What's the what's the fourth amendment? Do you know it? Yes, I do. Well, you know you know sergeant and to the viewers, this is what we're doing. We're educating people on the on our rights. We shouldn't have to search our bags on our way in. They should have a police a real police officer. This sergeant gave him orders. In order to enter, you must show your credentials. You're yeah, but he's not a cop. That you are a resident of Osceola County. Correct. They need to see that in order for you to enter. But th th that's that's where we that's where we disagree, ma'am. They can have whatever policy that they that they uh, obviously obviously well th that's the thing they're not following policy. Yesterday I was here and they broke the law. So what makes you think they're gonna follow policy? How they break the law? Yesterday. They were being disorderly. I can show you. Ass Elmo, you're nothing more than a one-trick pony without your butt. Buddy, William Tolbert, a.k.a. Whisk Boy, a.k.a. Fake Mike Real News. 
I mean, disorderly, you keep on saying that, but it's not true. You're the only idiot being disorderly. Go into businesses, interrupt them for your own amusement, for your own uh, channel, and that's what you're about to say here in the next few minutes. In fact, let me go ahead and skip ahead to this uh, confession that you have, then I will end the video. Because unlike you, Aselmo, I actually respect the time and intelligence of my audience, and I don't want to keep them waiting for something that they're going to eventually see anyway. So let's get right to this confession that will destroy your career. Well, not destroy it, considering that your YouTube career is already going down the toilet anyway. But let's carry on. Many, many minutes later. About you guys, uh, it got 350,000 views. And guess what? It wasn't a video shitting on you. It was a video praising you. Because a lot of people get the wrong idea of what I'm doing. That's why we are just here to keep the peace. Correct. But you're supposed to keep the peace. And and they're, they're, they're not keeping the peace over there. I understand. I cannot force them to allow you to enter. Did you know that's the only, this is the only tax collector's office and this is the only police officers that tell me that? Ma'am, I travel the whole country doing this. Have you gone I, to the tax collector's office uh, over, off part and settlement? Of course. They don't tell me to leave. Who the hell do these people think they are? I told you you can go in. They don't, they want me to waive my rights. That my channel, ma'am, is about my rights. I'm not going to sit here and waive all of them and tell people to, to you know, stand up for yourself. To... Let's hear that confession again, shall we? They want me to waive my rights. That my channel, ma'am, is about my rights. I'm not going to sit here and waive all of them and tell people to... They want me to waive my rights. That my channel, ma'am, is about my rights. My channel, ma'am, is about my rights. Ah, there's your confession right there. It's about your channel and about your rights, nobody else's. Is it any wonder why you talk to people while you do? Because it's all about you, nobody else. You don't care about anybody else's rights. That's why you stick your camera in people's faces and do what you do. It's not about the uh, Constitution. It's about your own personal rights. Nothing else. Nobody else should get involved. Which is why you call everybody disorderly every single time they disagree with what you have to say. Which is why you go into a business and try to disrupt them because you believe you have the absolute right to do so. It's not because you're trying to defend everybody else's rights because you don't care about them. You just want to do what you want to do because you're a self-entitled prick. Now, as I said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to end the video right here because I do believe that this idiot has just made a point of destroying his own channel. So feel free to spread the news around that he just admitted that it's not about everybody else's rights. It's only about his. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.